So how to use the Gaussian elimination method to solve systems for three equations and three unknowns. So to do this problem, first off, set this, these three equations and three unknowns into a matrix, a three by four matrix. So I'll try to get that so I can see it all and write the matrix. And so my matrix would look something like this. One, two, negative two, negative two, where you're just using the coefficients um, in front of the variable there, and then 5, 9, negative 4, and negative 3, and then 3, 4, negative 5, and negative 3. And we're going to put the, that matrix in reduced form in order to find our answer, Redu uh, reduced echelon form. Well, if you remember, that's a 1 starting in the upper left and going diagonally to the lower right. Well, we're already okay with the first row, so we don't have to do anything to it. That's fabulous. But what we're going to do then is we need a 0 here and a 0 here. So to get those two new rows, for row 2, I'm going to take um, negative 5 times row 1 and add that to row 2. And then for a new row 3, I'm going to take negative 3 times row 1 and add that to row 3 to get a new, I don't know, I hate, maybe you should put a little prime there because it's not, it's going to be a new row. And I better eliminate that so I don't think it's a minus sign before I get started. So this is a 5, this is a 1, and now we're ready to go. So if I just show my work off to the side here, if I take negative 5 times row 1, we'll do that in red, you'd have negative 5, negative 10, positive 10, positive 10. And we're going to add that to row 2, which row 2 is 5, 9, negative 4, negative 3. You add those down and you get negative 1, 6, and 7, and 0. So our new matrix, will start rolling it out here. We're going to leave our top row alone. 1, 2, negative 2, negative 2. Our bottom row now, or middle row, row 2, is 0, negative 1, 6, and 7. And uh, now we'll do this new row 3, which is negative 3 times row 1. So that would be negative 3, negative 6, positive 6, positive 6 plus row 3, which is 3, 4, negative 5, negative 3. Add those up. Um, again, this is what we wanted. It was a 0 there. Negative 2, 1, 3. So we'd have 0, negative 2, 1, and 3. And what's kind of nice is uh, um, we're, whoops, we're, we've got the second row pretty much where we want it. So if I just take a negative 1 times row 2, I'd have this. I'd have positive 1, negative 6, negative 7. So that one's in the form we need. So the last thing left to do is make this a 0 so that we can end up with a 1 here. So we'll take, um, we'll take, uh, two, it looks like 2 times row 2 and add that to row 3 to get our new row 3. So when you do that, we would have, let's take 2 times row 2, so that would be 0, um, 2, negative 12, and negative 14. And our row 3 is 0, negative 2, 1, 3. Let me give myself a little more room here. We'll add those together, and you've got 0, 0, negative 11, negative 11. Yes. So, new matrix time. And I'll stick it here. Probably better do it in a different color. So we've got the top row staying the same. 1, 2, negative 2, negative 2. Okay, and... Then our second row is already how we want it, which is 0, 1, negative 6, and negative 7. 
And then our third row is that 0, 0, negative 11, negative 11. So we're just about done here. Um, the last thing we need to do is we need that, we need a 1. Let me swing it back up there here. We need a 1 right here, a positive 1. Well, we can just divide by negative 11. So for a new row 3, you can take um, row 3 divided by 11, a negative 11, excuse me. So my, my row echelon form would be 1, 2, negative 2, negative 2, 0, 1, negative 6, negative 7, and then 0, 0, 1, 1. Okay, now I'm going to convert that back to an equation. And here's how you solve the equation with this matrix. So um, the top equation, going back to with my coefficients and variables, would be x plus 2y minus 2z equals negative 2. And then 0x plus y minus 6z equals negative 7. And 0x plus 0y plus z equals 1. And so this is my new set of equations. And we know now z is equal to 1. So now you can work backwards to find the rest of your answers. So when z equals 1, I'm going to take that z equals 1 and plug it into the equation up above. So you would have y minus 6 times 1 equals negative 7. And so y minus 6 equals negative 7. Add 6 to both sides of my equation. And y equals negative 1. So now I have negative 1 and I have z as 1. So we'll plug those into the top equation. So to find x. So x plus 2 times negative 1 minus 2 times 1 equals negative 2. You go ahead and solve that, and you'd have x minus 2 minus 2 equals negative 2. And you keep going with that, and you'd have x minus 4 equals negative 2. Add 4 to both sides, and x is equal to 2. And so there are your three answers to that. So these three planes intersect at 2, uh, negative 1, and 1 because that's what x, y, and z are equal to. And so I'll do one more example and uh, let you try it on your own here. Okay, and again on this one, go ahead and uh, go ahead and try it. Hit stop. See what you can do with this problem, and then um, see what you what if your answer matches mine. So the first step you do is make a matrix out of this thing, and so it'd be three, seven, negative seven, negative four. You'd have 1, 2, negative 3, 0, 5, 6, 1, and negative 8. And uh, now we'll put it in reduced row form. Now, here's what's nice is this 1 here is at the beginning. So what I'm going to do is swap my rows. Um, I'm going to flip-flop them so that row 2 becomes my row 1. That's the first thing I'm going to do with this one and keep everything else the same. So 1, 2, negative 3, 0. Um, then we got 3, 7, negative 7, negative 4. And my row 3 just stays the same. 5, 6, 1, negative 8. Okay. So we've got that 1 in the position I want in the upper left hand corner. So what we're going to do now is make a 0 with this 3 and a 0 with this 5 um, from row 1. So that means you are going to have to take um, negative 3 times row 1 plus row 2 to get our new row 2 and then negative 5 times row 1 plus row 3 to get our new row 3. So when we do that, let's go ahead and show some work here. So we'll start with this one. Negative 3 times row 1 is um, negative 3, negative 6, positive 9, and 0. 
And then row 2 is just 3, 7, negative 7, negative 4. Then you add down. So get that there. We got some more room. So you add down, and this is my new row 2. It's going to be 0, negative 1, 2, and negative 4. Okay, so now we'll do, uh, we'll do red here with row 1 and row 3. So we're going to take negative 5 times row 1, so that would be negative 5, negative 10, 15, 0, and then add that to row 3 just as it is, so 5, 6, 1, negative 8. Add down, you'd have 0, negative 4, 16, and negative 8. So there's my new row 3. So I'll put a little row 3 here. This one was my new row 2. So my new matrix looks something like this. 1, 2, negative 3, 0, 0, negative 1, 2, negative 4. And then my row 3, 0, negative 4, 16, negative 8. Okay, that one's kind of nice because I've, I've got a 1 in that position I need. It's just negative. So I'm just going to take row 2 times a negative 1, and I'll get a new, new row 2. So I'll rewrite it so I've got some room to work for the, the coup de gras on this problem. So 1, 2, negative 3, 0. So if I multiply negative 1 times row 2, I'd have 0, 1, negative 2, positive 4. And then you'd have 0, negative 4, 16, and negative 8. So we need a 0 in this position now. So you take row 2 times 4. So 4 row 2s plus row 3 will get me a new row 3. And so 4 would be, that'd be 0, 4, negative 8, and 16. And then we got negative 4, 16, and negative 8 for row 3. Add those down. So we've got 0, 0, 8, and 8. I didn't mean to put that equal sign there. And so that's my new, um, my new one. And we got 1, 2, negative 3, 0. 0, 1, negative 2, 4, and now 0, 0, 8, 8. Okay, now your final step is we need a 1 right here, so we'll just divide that by 8, and so we've got a final reduced uh, echelon form uh, matrix of 1, 2, negative 3, 0, 0, 1, negative 2, 4, 0, 0, 1, 1, because I'm dividing again this row 3 by 8. And so our final equation then, we've got x plus 2y minus 3z equals 0, y minus 2z equals 4, and z equals 1. Now you don't always get 1 as an answer for z, but I'm getting lucky with the ones I'm picking. And you just work backwards to find y and then to find x. So y minus 2 times 1 equals 4. So I'm plugging the 1 right in here for z. And see so that y minus 2 equals 4. So y would equal 6 because you'd add 2 to both sides. Then take the 1 and the 6 and plug it into the top equation. That would be x plus 2 times 6 <clears throat> minus 3 times 1 equals 0. And so x plus 12 minus 3 equals 0. And you add 12 and negative 3, and x, um, 12 minus 3, ah, gosh, 12, 11, 10, 9, x plus 9 equals 0. And so x is equal to negative 9. And there are my three solutions for x, y, and z. So we know x is equal to negative 9, y is equal to 6, and z is equal to 1. Or neg the ordered pair in a three-dimensional three system of negative 9, 6, and 1. So th that's where those three planes intersect. So I hope this helped you, and I will see you next time.